you a little bit better. Uh, I get the opportunity this morning to talk to you about kind of something bigger that's coming up in the next few months, and we want to make sure we give you some time to think about it, prepare for it. Uh, but before I get to some of the details of that, I just kind of want to remind you uh, what, what we're about as a church. Over these last two or three years, we've really focused in on this phrase, helping people become wholehearted followers of Jesus Christ who know him and make him known. That is something that we have really tried to kind of put into action in every ministry, in every effort that we do, uh, and not just in, our, in what we teach, but even in the things that we're practicing and the things that we're doing. Uh, so even just the fact that we're all in here for this service today, this is part of, why, part of what we do in order to help accomplish this, because we believe this is part of how we can help make disciples, how we can help build people who will know him and make him known. Every ministry that you see around factors into that. Um, and we've been really over the last two or three years focusing in on also trying to kind of put our money where our mouth is, which is why we really upped the quotient for what we want to do missionally. We've really upped the quotient for what we want to do in terms of discipleship. Even the fact that we built this, this building, um, this building, if you're newer to the church, this, this part was just built in the last year. Uh, that was all with the intention of us trying to make sure that we are doing whatever we can do to help people hear the good news of the gospel and actually know the God who made them. Uh, and so for the last two or three years, we've been talking so much about that. Last year, we got to move into this building. Um, here's what I would like to, can I show you something just real quick, show you just a little bit about where our church has been over the last six years. In 2018, we were a church of about 400 people. Here we are in 2024, and we're at about 1,400 people. Uh, the Lord has really been sending a lot of people. There's been a lot of growth. It's been a great thing. We sit in here today, and we've got elbow room, right? You can look around, and you can see seats. That is a summer phenomenon at UBC. <laughs> that is not something that happens uh, in any of the school year, because like our name suggests, we have a lot of college students who are part of our church. Uh, but also, a lot of new families come and check out churches in the fall. It's just part of the rhythm of how things work. And we love that rhythm at UBC. We love our students. We love our new families. We love the fact that we get to serve a military community. So a lot of people come in at the end of every summer. And we really love that. And we want to do our best to serve those 1,400 people and whoever else God might have in store for us. Um, so... We've been really kicking things around. We've been trying everything. Obviously, for those of you who have been here for longer than the last couple months, you know we started in this building, uh, and by about one month in, everyone was going, hey, our two services feel pretty full. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? If you've looked around our kids' classes or even like some of our adult classes, there are times when we're going, this probably isn't enough space. What's going on? Uh, and so we have this whole plan to try to help serve all of these people that God is bringing here. We want to serve them as best we can. And this whole plan, we've been calling this around the office, we've been calling this the fall overhaul. Because every fall, things get crazy for UBC. And it's about to get crazy here uh, at the end of August. And we know that's just the way it works. So in the fall overhaul, we've got a bunch of changes coming, especially when it comes to our times. The first thing that's going to change is our Sunday morning service times. We're going to have three Sunday morning services. Uh, you can see right up here, they're going to be at 8, 9, 30, and 11. You guys are at the 1045 service right now. So my, my guess is you're probably not the crowd that's really shopping for that 8 a.m. service. Um, but if you might be, we're going to need people who will commit to that 8 a.m. service. Uh, but 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 11 a.m., this really allows us to open up more seats, get more people involved in here to be able to hear the good news, to, again, help them know the God who made them and then make him known. Um, but that's not the only thing that's changing about our Sunday mornings. Adding three services to our Sunday mornings also means we've got greater opportunity to expand our adult Bible education. That's something that we've been building kind of a, a pathway for uh, over the last year, and we're really excited about where that's going. Right now, we're limited on the amount of classes we can offer based on the rooms that we have available for the two services times, for the two service times. Well, when we add a third service, we get to add more class opportunities. Uh, and there's a lot that we want to do to really build into the biblical education uh, of the disciples at UBC. So we're really looking forward to that. 
Um, but there's some other things, like if you've been, how many of you guys are a family that has participated in Awana? Okay, how many of you guys are a family that has participated in student ministry? Okay, so if you've been to either of those, if you're, if you're an Awana family, Awana has been packed out the gills for years. Uh, like they've been capped, they haven't allowed, uh, they've, we've hit a, a certain number and we haven't been able to allow more kids to come because we don't have space. Um, with our student ministry, we don't have enough spaces, even with this new building, we don't have enough spaces for all of the student ministry small groups. Like, we can't, there, there's not enough room for them to go. While one group is in here doing one thing, there's not enough other places for them to go because they've all grown so much. So in order to help with that, they've, they've been meeting at the same time on Sunday nights. We're now going to split that up to, because they both need to be able to use the full building. So Awana is going to start at 2 and have access to this whole building. And then student ministry is going to start at 5.30 and have access to the whole building. We know that's a change. Some of you were like, yes, finally, enough room to do the thing. And then some of you were like, two different times, how are we supposed to do that? We get it. We know. It's part of the growth that we're, we're just functioning through. And this was a, a whole huge team kind of got, uh, got together to help figure out these next steps and we're excited about this. We believe this is where God wants us to go starting in the fall. Um, but that's not the only thing that's changing in the fall, too. Um, you guys have been used to seeing our monthly member meetings that we've been having. Well, this past month, we had some pretty big decisions to make as a church. Uh, we have roughly seven to 800 members in our church. At our last member meeting, there were like 75 people that made the decisions for all 750 members. That's something that we're like, man, we really got to have more of our members involved in these decisions. But we also understand that it's probably burdensome for you to get there every month. So we're going to make them less often, more important. So we're moving them to quarterly. So you'll see the first one starting on September 1st. And it's not just a meeting. We're actually going to do something uh, with every one of these member meetings that's actually part of our church's fellowship plan. So the first one's going to happen during our Labor Day picnic. We're going to have meals together. We're going to bring it together. We're going to sit around tables. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to spend some time hanging out, being able to be together as a family. And then we're going to take some time and walk through the stuff that we got to walk through as a church. And so that's going to happen once a quarter, uh, starting on September 1st with our picnic. You can see some of the things that factored in there. But again, we had a whole team work together on how this on how we could best accomplish this, and we're grateful for what they were able to help us come to. Uh, one detail we want to hit with you is that maybe you are going, hey, uh, financial transparency has been one of the cool things we've really appreciated about UBC. Is that going to change now that we're moving to quarterly meetings? And we just want you to know, no, that's not really going to change. Our finance team is so committed to you that they're still going to send you a monthly update on our church's finances uh, anyway, so they're going to email that to you. So you'll still get... Uh, a monthly report from our finance team of how things are working with the money in our church. That's, a, that's not something they have to do. That's something they're choosing to do to serve the church. We're gifted by that. We're blessed by that. Um, so that's something. There's, there's also probably a hundred other questions that you might have about how is all this going to work. Uh, we want you to know we put together an FAQ page on our website. You can actually get to it if you scan that code right there. Um, we put together an FAQ page just to help answer some of those questions as they come up, some of those things that you're wondering about. We, we put together as many of them as we can. There's probably more. But as many of those questions, those details that you're interested in, you should be able to find a lot of those right there. So we want to make sure you know about that. Uh, that's all going to be starting. The fall kickoff stuff is all going to be starting August 18th with those new service times. Um, so we want to make sure you know. you got some time to think about it. You're going to see some stuff come. Like you're going to get a survey in your email like asking you, what service do you think you'll come to? What service do you think you'll put your kids in the classes? What service do you plan on serving in? You're going to get some questions like that. So expect that survey. July 21st, you're even going to see there's going to be, a time, there's going to be uh, uh, tables and stuff set up outside in the lobby and all that kind of stuff to help you know. In order for us to add a third service, we've got to add a whole bunch of teams. <laughs> we've got to add a whole bunch of serving teams. So we're going to need you guys to jump in. We're going to need you to plug in and do that, because if you believe in what God's doing through these services, we'd love to have you partner with us to make sure that they can happen. So you'll see more about that on the 21st as well. 
But again, like I said, we just wanted to make sure that you knew it was coming, make sure you were aware of all those details, and know where you can go to get a lot of your questions answered. Does all that make sense? Great, because I'm not going to take questions right now. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'm going to invite up one of our elders, Jeff Van Scoy. He's going to lead us through our prayer time today, as we always do, coming together on our Sunday mornings, just to spend some time asking the Lord what he wants for